guys welcome back to my channel so I am the kind of person I love a bargain I love a great deal but I also love to know that I can get quality pieces for my bargains and so you would find me often shopping at thrift stores or Zara Dynamite online stores if somebody recommends it i am open to trying it especially if i do like the items that they are offering so that's what i had in mind when i ordered these few items i am a regular shopper at zara and i was trying to get a kimono because I love kimonos they are my thing and it was sold out so I didn't get it so I watched some youtubers who recommended Zaffo and of course Shein so I have tried Shein in the past and it was okay it was a hit or miss I don't like hits or misses. I like hits. <laughs> so either a hit or nothing at all. I do not like my hard on money to go down the drain. And I'm sure that many of you are like me out there and you like to know that whenever you shop somewhere, you're confident that you're getting what you have paid for. But I shopped on Zaffo and she in thinking I'll give she in another try but for 2018 this is definitely a new ball game guys I am not taking any mediocre stuff for my money no <laughs> and so here I would be featuring stuff that I have ordered and definitely I'm going to tell you up front whether or not you should support these companies because I don't like when people put it out there that they're so great and they turn out not to be. So, of course, I am expecting something on par with that Zara if you're going to advertise that. Yes, you're, you're selling an item that Zara um, had on its website. And I'm, th I'm talking about this. This is a very popular, one of Zara's bestsellers. And I am sure that it's likely to um, come back in the summer because it was such a hit. But I didn't want to wait. And I saw it on Zaffo and I was really excited. Some YouTubers recommended it. So I tried it. Guys, when I checked the quality of Zara's compared to this one, it's definitely not the same. It's already falling apart. Don't know if you could see that, but if you look, see, it's, it's, it's already falling apart. It definitely wasn't made well. This item would definitely not last if I don't repair it. It is not the same so yes this is the Zara dupe and forgive the creases and wrinkles because I didn't get a chance to to iron it but I'll definitely pair it for you on my Instagram so yeah this is what it looks like and of course see it's too short much shorter than what it shows online and See how snug it is here? So everything, when you walk, it's like coming apart because it's too snug there. So this is definitely for someone who is on the petite side. So that's the disclaimer that these items should come with. Because this, this is another piece that is a one size fit all and it's definitely not fitting me. <laughs> I 
but because I don't like my money to go to waste, I'm gonna get some wearing out of this piece regardless. But that doesn't mean I'll be shopping on Zafo or Shein anytime soon. The print of this piece is so great. I love the look, but as you can see, it's not going to necessarily work well. You can flash somebody at any second. It, it doesn't fall and, and it doesn't flow the same way that I like my kimonos to flow. And I also got this one as well. Is this these items are from Shein and Zafo and for some reason I can't even differentiate them at times because I don't know what this brand is I didn't order from this company who is this company so I'm assuming that this piece is from Shein and this was another Zara piece that sold out pretty quickly and of course I wanted it so I tried it. This piece, I know when you replicate stuff, it you have to add your own twist to it and I think what they did was to give it balloon sleeve but it's, it's a lot of material and <laughs> Look at the huge slits. So these slits, I think I'll definitely be um, sewing them together because I don't see the point of it. Doesn't make it look attractive. It's not the same. It's not the same fit. When you just try this on, guys, you feel like a bag of potato. It doesn't look flattering at all not the same item and I hate it I hate it if you're going to replicate something you have to do a good job you don't just go out there and try to replicate one of um, the better stores out there and you're not going to doing a good job this is how it looks and yeah, it definitely reminds me of curtains that my mom used like ages ago and the balloon sleeves I don't mind but it's definitely not Zara quality. Zara itself does replications of high-end items and I can fairly say that they definitely do a good job because I am quite pleased but I, I, I don't know what this is and I am very, very, I am very, very disappointed with this order because it doesn't fit as well. And because of the fact that I want to get my money's worth, I'm still going to wear it. I have to. I can't return it. It's too late. But this is how I would wear it when I have finished up the sides so you definitely have to customize this to make this work for you don't be fooled by the way it looks guys it doesn't look as great as you think maybe cheap things look good on me but trust me i not very happy right now <laughs> it's definitely too long it's it's pointless But I'm gonna get some wearing out of this. It would make me feel better. Cause I'm not getting back my money anyway. So I have to utilize it. And I'm gonna try my very best to accessorize it and rock it and make it my own so that I get my money's worth. So yeah. Definitely guys, fit, it's definitely not there. This is also another item that was on Zara's website and I didn't get. So of course, again, this is definitely hot off or hot from the factory. 
because there's no label, there's nothing. So all I have is this. I I I I can't tell whether or not it's from Shein or from Zaffo because I ordered from both and they both came the same time. So I don't know. So this is just insane. This again is a terrible fit. So for this one, if your boobs are on the heavier side, it's definitely a no no. I bought this one to be worn as both a dress as well as a kimono and it can only serve as a kimono. And I know it looks pretty guys but it definitely doesn't cover my bosom area. And the print is gorgeous. I just love the print. That's what I fell in love with. But yeah, fit definitely not there. What these companies do is sometimes they make one size fit all. That is not true. One size doesn't fit all. The fashion industry itself is that in itself where you have so many different sizes of women and men and kids. It, how could one size fit all? And whenever they make these items, the models on the websites look so happy. They look so great. I wonder if it's the same item that they're sending to us. It's highly unlikely because they don't fit the same. And when the model's specifications are similar to mine and I ordered the same size, it does not fit the same. This is very tight fitting. It's a beautiful color, but they don't make items to fit the width and the height of taller people. I think most of these websites are for individuals who are a bit on the smaller side. They are, if they are petite, oh my God, you would do well. But for my sisters out there who are a bit taller and if you are over 5'6 five, or 5'5, five, five, it's definitely not something that I would recommend. You would be very disappointed and upset. Well, based on my experience, um, I am not very happy about it. Again, one of the issues I had is my items from Zaffo took forever to get here. And I asked for my money back and they sometimes want to persuade you to wait, but it took forever. It seems like when you order it, they then send an order to their factory to have it made. That's not cool. That's not what I signed up for. This is supposed to be large and it can barely button up. It's definitely ill-fitting. When I bought this one, it had, I'm sure that it had buttons a little bit further, but for some reason, they decided that the buttons should stay like just below my belly button and the rest of it here is all opened this is supposed to be a professional dress it's definitely not professional so i think oh wow huh. I, I, I have to turn this way to talk to you <laughs> So I think what I'll do is I'll probably wear this totally undone with um, pants underneath on a casual Friday and it would work better. But normally I'm a medium, but this is very snug around the shoulders it, because it's definitely too snug 
right around here. It's very snug. I can't move my arm very well. So, yeah. I'll be turning the Incredible Hulk on you guys. <laughs> so, but I fell in love with these, this stripe and I don't know what's happening here. But I'm going to get some of my money's worth out of this. I'll definitely see how I can pair it and I'll definitely share it in an outfit of the day. But for now, yeah, in order for me to fit into this and to wear this in a professional setting, because that's where I had bought it to wear, I had to probably lose the extra 10 or 15 pounds that I had just gained. And I like those pounds. I wanted them. Yeah, it's not as flattering as I would like. Maybe I could pair it with a big chunky sweater and that might work. I don't know what to tell you guys, but to this 2018 is definitely a year where I am becoming an even more of a savvy customer because I do not like to feel like I have been short changed, literally. I also ordered this. And it was definitely supposed to be here for New Year's Eve. But even if it had arrived on time, the quality is not great. It's very poor quality material. The lace is very cheap looking. The lining is also very cheap. So it's definitely not what I expected it to be. The style looks great, but this is definitely not great quality. It's, it's not something that you would feel. It, it looks cheap. They used very poor quality material to make this item with. The style has some potential, but fabrication to me is key to how an outfit look and how it falls on your body. Sorry for the quality of this one, guys. I had to change camera because my camera died. So this is what the jumpsuit looks like. It's, it's not bad in terms of in theory and style yes it would have been ideal but it's definitely not the quality i was looking for and of course it might look good on camera but it's 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 not cool it's not fine it's not great yeah this is very no this is not this is not what I was looking for I I love the style this is my style I love a little high neck that's gorgeous the length is not too bad for a, a, a New Year Eve night the fit is not too bad but quality <laughs> unfortunately but it would have been really nice if it was great if it was a great piece i would have been quite pleased to like pair this for a great night out with the girls for drinks it would have been a really really great piece but don't put it past me to get some sort of wear out of this piece because I would not be a satisfied customer. I can't return it, so I have to get some sort of wearing out of it. See, and it moves, of course. It rides up when you move. So... 
this is definitely a no-no. I also got this one because I love stripes and I love anything black and white. I think items that are black and white are very chic and you could look very expensive but not in these ones. For some reason this doesn't meet that <laughs> standard it doesn't meet the standard regardless of whether or not black and white is supposed to make you look expensive this item doesn't so this is an exception to the rule and that's how poor the quality is guys don't be fooled by the way it appears on the camera trust me in person it's not that great but I'm going to be rocking this as if it's the greatest piece on earth because I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I mean, I'm, I'm so disappointed with these. Look, it was made so hurriedly that they didn't even take the time to use black threading on this right here. Over here is fine. But here, any professional should have known to use black thread on the stripe, on the black stripe right there. It would have looked so much better. <sighs> yes. But this is how I'll probably wear it. can wear um, from the beach to the street I love that versatility so I'll definitely be doing so and um, yeah and then you could just pair it also with your favorite white high-waisted skinny jeans or black as you see fit or use it like this as a kimono and as a dress I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this, guys. That's how I would feel better. One thing that I got from Shein that I was absolutely pleased with, and that is why I said it's a hit and miss, but I'd rather more hits like these is this one. This is a great kimono. The colors, they are vibrant, they are extremely, it looks very high end. It looks very gorgeous and it's it's beautiful on when paired with us uh, with your skinny jeans and camisole, it looks stunning. It's great for a night out, on vacation, it's great as a robe. It's a very versatile piece and I just love this. So I know I'll get very good um where out of this piece of all the items i just showed you this is the only piece that definitely made the cut for me i love this i think this is a great piece it's a great um piece that you could wear for a night out so it's gorgeous and of course as i said you can pair it with your skinny jeans and or you could just wear it like this with your boots and it's good to go so I love this piece I think it's just absolutely fabulous it looks expensive it's gorgeous love it Zaffo, they are not stores that are likely to do it for me in 2018. I think I am going to be more, just a more educated and do my research. 
whenever I am shopping online, I am not going to be influenced by the YouTubers who rave and, and, and just hype items up so they can get whatever they are paid to get. I am going to be more savvy and more educated about what I invest in because it upsets me when I don't get what I think I am buying. In a nutshell, there are online stores that are hits and misses. They, in my opinion, they cater for more petite people and in my opinion, the fabrication, the quality, it's not on par with what I expect from stores like those. Because you do pay um, reasonably good prices for them. You do. I pay for these items similar to what I would pay when Zara has its annual sales like I shared with you. For example, this is an item from Zara and I probably paid $29 or $25 for this dress and it's an excellent piece. You could see how well it falls, the quality is great, it's, it's gorgeous. I think it's almost 100% cotton Despite the fact that you are looking for bargains, keep in mind that you are not likely to get what you bargain for. <laughs> Despite the fact that you're looking for cheaper prices. And while I encourage people to shop within your budget and to shop wisely, with that said, Zaffo and Shein, but more so Zaffo is not an online store that I am likely to be shopping again for 2018 and beyond. If I do, I'll definitely let you know. Until they improve their quality, I would not be one of those shoppers there because I am just, I am really disappointed with most of the items that I just shared with you. So I hope this was useful for someone who, and I hope you definitely take something from this and learn to shop wisely as you go forward for 2018 when you're shopping online. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.